Okay, hello everybody and welcome to my Champs Ladder first round, uh, round of 32, if you like, uh, playoff game against Crystal Hunter with Skaven. Um, he, he had loads of money in the bank, so he bought a wizard, because um, he had a big TV advantage against me anyway. I got a wizard, a Bloodweiser Babe, and Griff Oberwald, as you can see there. Quite a good player. Uh, first blocks of KO. Pretty good. Um, and yeah, uh, let's, let's try and pause it here at some point. You can see the teams. I've got Bretonians with uh, hard breaths hit. Uh, five guard altogether. Not bad. Uh, sure hands to keep the ball against the stripper. Though he does have the wizard. Um, mighty blow tackler. He's got strength mighty blow. Tackle mighty blow. Storm vermin. Um, just a leader thrower. So he's a good one to get out, isn't he? Um, and then obviously four quite good gutters. Nothing, nothing crazy really. Rackle, sidestep, movement, block, big hand, leap, sidestep, wrestle, strip, dauntless, tackle. So he's the absolute, pretty much perfect sacker. He doesn't have two heads though. Um, block, sidestep, shadowing, and fend. Quite an annoying little player, that one. Um, so yeah, I just went there blocking with wrestle rather than maximizing blocks, I guess. This was so that I was protected against a blitz a little bit. Roll a double skull and turn one, great. Maybe I could have not re-rolled that, but I thought I had to, because Skaven. So, a re-roll gone, but a removal is, is okay, isn't it, against armor seven? But you know, I really horrible to use the reroll. I'm rerolls are gonna be like gold dust in this game, so I was a bit and I'm not talking the double double E wrestler. Uh it's, you know, was, that was really horrible to have to use a reroll on, on, on turn one. Because he's gonna put me under a lot of pressure. I know that. Especially with the wizard. The the wizard's the game breaker here. If I wasn't if I was just playing against a nineteen hundred uh well eighteen hundred Skaven team, it would be hard. Um, you know, my bets are like 1500, I'd have Griff and a babe, but now because he's got, because he's bought the wizard, I've got the wizard as well, uh, he's obviously going to get a lot more out of the wizard than I am, so he makes it, he kills a wrestle guard on his turn one, so, out bashed, <laughs> in terms of quality, he just, he just runs him forward, I mean, he's his prime one turn, you know, dude, and he just runs him to get punched by Theresa May. I did not like that. Well, I mean, I liked it personally, but I thought that, that was a mistake from him. Just giving giving him up. I mean, obviously he's in scoring range, so he could bolt and score. But still, I didn't like that you just offered up a sacrifice like that. <laughs> There's my first action. <laughs> Safe moves first, splat the gutter runner. Mighty blow. Do nothing. And just take these hits. Fend was quite annoying there because uh, had I powered him, I would have followed to get two D there. But as it happened, I didn't power, so the Fend didn't matter. Push these guys away. All of that before moving the ball. No, oh, because I've got a GFI to get in the cage here. Turn two, second GFI gone. <laughs> second reroll gone, even. First two plus roll, fail. Horrible. I mean, but I had to get in the cage, didn't I, with them having all these guys around. 2D on this lad, gets a pow. No AV break. So I'm getting a little bit frustrated now that I had all these blocks. And did nothing. <laughs> Four plus dodge to get a foul in. Nothing. So, yeah, at this point I've used two, you know, turn two I've used two rerolls and I've done nothing to the Skaven team. I'm pretty sad about it.
I got so much guard I can just keep knocking these guys down that are basing me. Which is quite good. So I'd love to have hit one of these gutters, but I had to put the guard in to get the 2D on him. He has to use Rude, because tackle, tackle doing something. Unbelievable, Jeff. But still, he's got three left, so... Get a power. Randomly, randomly stun the AV8 guy. And then just have to mighty blow a rookie. That was a horrible blitz to have to make. But at least he was defenseless. Did nothing to him. <laughs> Common theme here, as you'll see. I don't know why I made that an open cage, really. Oh, against against a fireball. Yeah, just in case he got greedy with a fireball. So I made it made it slightly wider at both sides to protect against the fireball a bit. So he's used a reroll there. So he's, he's used two rerolls as well. The difference is he's got two left and he's on defense. Oh, he didn't reroll it. He just accepted the both down. Oh, no, he won in 81. So now what do I do here? Block these two. I should block him. And I blocked him to hit with Griff. So I guess what I should have done, actually, was to not greed more blocks. I should have blocked him to there, shouldn't I? But I wanted a greed an extra hit on him and then hit this hit this gutter. And so this was this was my fault a little bit. My fault a little bit. Make this block. Double skull, he's a loner, so I don't want to use reroll. And now the ball's exposed and he's got a wizard. Absolutely horrific. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have uh maybe I should have just pushed him there and then blitzed with the wrestle guy. Bolt comes out, stuns my sure hands guy. And it's all gone. It's all gone to ratchet. Against rats. Brilliant. So yeah, maybe maybe because the failure was so brutal there, i.e. a 1 in 36, I lose the fucking game. I really shouldn't have done that. I should not have been greedy. I should have I should have pushed into there and then blitzed with the wrestle guy. Kept the cage where it was. But I wanted to push the cage forward. I don't know. But it's not even in tackle zone, is it? Brutal scatter for him. Perfect scatter for him. And I mean, he can fully protect the ball now. So at this point, as you can imagine, I'm not I'm not very happy. <laughs> um, I've been out bashed against Nama Seventeen, and while it's true that he has two mighty blow and I've only got one, I've I've got to hit his gutter runners. I've 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 had some hits on his gutters. Um, I've knocked everyone else down quite. I've made a lot of knockdowns, made a lot of blocks. I could have bolted back, but there was no recovery really with him being stunned. If he hadn't been stunned, I could have bolted back and like blitzed him, blocked him, and then got got back maybe with Griff. You know, I could have made some kind of rolls to try and recover, but um, yeah, with 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 the with this guy stunned, I was just screwed. And then I forgot about shadowing there, so he uses the shadowing. But I'm like, this is okay, I mean, it just means I can punch him. So I do get to punch him here, which is alright, but had he not had shadowing, I'd have knocked this guy over, wouldn't I, which would have been good. But instead, he, because I couldn't get away from the shadowing, it gives up a block. So yeah, I mean, just one dicing, why not? I feel like I've got to get very lucky that's on the chance at this point. 
and obviously feel pretty robbed by the dice so far. But they were, yeah, I didn't, I didn't need to make that block with a cage corner, with a loner. So maybe I should have played safer against Skaven, of all teams. He has to smack Griff now. Okay, I think that's the, uh, that's, the, that's any hope I've got of stopping him on this drive gone with, with Griff. <laughs> And then he gets to hit him and gets a Kaz. So the shadowing was pretty brutal for him there. Um, and now, now I'm just screwed, aren't I? Down to seven players on my own drive, turn five. I'm just done. Um, if you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking <laughs> suck it up and stop bitching like a little baby. And try and fucking play better. Thanks for the sound effect, I can style. But yeah, I mean, look, I, I was done here. You know, there was there was no doubt that I wasn't done. Uh, but I still, you know, I still did my best. I blitzed him with mighty blow. Didn't break armor. No, I did break armor, but didn't remove him. Uh, moved everyone down. Like, I still tried. You know, I still got in the way and stuff. As much as I could. But... But what I didn't do, well, you'll see next time what I didn't do. But I mean, I was really upset. Although, although I did my best to stop it, you could say I was tilted. I know people love to say I'm tilted when I'm not tilted. Maybe they don't understand what tilt means. But, uh, you know, tilt in poker is making poor decisions because you're pissed off. And uh, that's something I very rarely do. I do get pissed off quite a lot, but I, I don't usually make poor decisions because of it. So he gets to hit my best player, doesn't knock him over, and he just scores. But now this is tilt in this game here, because I did not know which turn it was. And for some reason, I thought I had three turns to score. And I did not have three turns to score. I had two turns to score. So if I'd known I'd have two turns to score, he sets up in like a standard rule of five defense. If I had set up the score in two turns here with four, eight, nine, ten, full eleven men, full eleven men, I could have had Griff quite protected and the ball quite protected, and I could have easily scored in two turns here. Now I may not have done because he does have very good defensive players with the wrestle strip and the uh, shadowing fen guy. I may well not have scored in two turns, but you know, the, where the kick went, I could have gone down this side and I could have had a really good chance, a really good chance to score in two turns. But I just wasn't caring, I'm just hitting things, getting frustrated, complaining that I'm not hurting anything. And you know, this really was, this was the perfect example of tilt this, this turn. Really, really horrible. Horrible turn for me, not setting, setting up not knowing what turn it was. And, uh, you know, trying to hit this guy because he's a good player. It was just, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Push him. Brilliant. And then, at this point, I realise it's turn seven. And I'm like, oh, I need a scoring threat. So, so he goes down, and then Griff goes down, and I'm just thinking, what an absolute idiot. I should have, I could have had such a good turn here. Outrageous the turn I could have had. But instead, he's just got to blitz Griff and mark him, and I've got no chance. Which is what happens, obviously. <laughs> So yeah, that was that was so so poor. Such a bad. It wasn't even a two-turn attempt. Now obviously, I would have had to roll some dice because he has got good good runners and he could react to where I'd gone. So it would have been. I would have had to roll some dice to score, and he could have just done the one turner anyway because he had two rerolls left. So he could have used a reroll this turn, and he would have still had a reroll for the one turn. So he may he may well have he may well have scored back with a one turn. Um. Well, I would have had two sidestep on the LOS. 
Mm. He could have killed somebody as well. If he, so, you know, who knows? Who knows what would have happened? But I'm pretty sure it's better to try to score than to not try to score. <laughs> Luckily, Griff only gets stunned. I mean, I should never let him get hit. That was so bad. Griff should have been here and all screened off or whatever. So bad. Gets a guy in scoring range. It's, it's so sick how that's in scoring range for gutter runners, isn't it? Unbelievable. So now, looking back, I should have just blitzed him and not even tried to score because I didn't realise this guy had shadowing and stuff. Uh, no, actually, I knew he had shadowing. I didn't know he had Fen. So I'm thinking I'll just blitz him follow and then go one two three uh, so one two three four five six gfi so i thought you know if i get lucky and get a power with a with a wrestler here it's just the three plus to get away like it was still the right play to blitz him but I should have made my odds so much better. So I get the pound, I'm like, great, three plus to score. And then he's got Fend, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. He's got Fend, I didn't even realise. So now instead of making a three plus dodge, I've got to make a four, 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 three. So, you know, it basically, Fend there are absolutely crucial for him. Um, okay, as it happened, there was a double one, so I'd have failed three plus if he hadn't. But still, it, it decreased the odds by a lot, didn't it? Him having Fen there. But it's still the right player to do that because I couldn't have dodged away from him with, with Shadowing. But yeah, so bad. I mean, that was absolutely no excuses. That was bad play for me, not setting up for a two turn touchdown. Not knowing which turn it was. And I had, I was playing music and stuff and I'd stopped and I was moaning to chat and everything. That's why it's a replay analysis still because the, the music meant that I couldn't put the, the live video on YouTube even though I did a lot of talking. Um, but you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have. I just should have kept tryharding. Uh, but I didn't, and I lost focus and didn't know which turn it was. And it's not blaming Jack, it's blaming me for losing focus, absolutely. Um, you know, and a lot of people make memes about blaming Jack, but that, you know, it's true if you're not if you're not committed to the game 100%, which I rarely am when streaming, you don't play as well. So I should have, I should not have done it, but there you go. So uh, maybe, maybe if I'd tried to set up for a two turn, I would have got it. I would have fancied my chances, but then he would have fancied his chances of scoring a one turner back anyway. So obviously looking really bad, one nil down. Um, do have the wizard though, so there is a chance of turning him over to make it one one. Um, there's still a chance about bashing him because only lot only down two players, which still means eleven. He's down two, but he's still eleven as well. So I. All was not lost at this point whatsoever. So I was still, I got my head in the game and started playing good again, I think, after this. But yeah, that that, that failure to two turn was absolutely horrific. Um, but he, he could have just scored the one turn, so, you know, it is, it is what it is. Obviously sucks to be down on guard, but still got plenty. Peasant with guard. Maybe I should have put the uh, Donald Thump on the LOS yeah. to protect the guards that I have. Get the ref, so I could foul the gutters a bit. Would have liked that in the first half. Because it's going to be hard to foul them without giving up position, isn't it? Because now he knows, now Crystal Hunter knows that if he scores, he's won. This is what makes defending here horrible, because... He's got movement nine guys and a movement ten guy. So it's really hard to defend. Knowing because he knows he can score at any point. Wow, there's some serious thunder outside. So he, he's, I mean, he's got to be a little bit scared of the wizard at least. So that, that's something that I've got going for me. 
Obviously the patented VGP chase cam. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit close here. I can't really consider dropping a fireball here. Um, making use of the bribe. But at least it's used up and he didn't remove him. So obviously now it's time to herb dirt base, base, base and try to make something happen. Three dice with plenty of blow, not bad. And tackle. KO, very nice. Oh, it switched me back to my view. Okay, so that was a that was a nice little KO, wasn't it? I mean, he he was like he's got four gutters, so he's kind of got to expose them at some point, hasn't he? But he was quite blasé about exposing them. I thought all game, so I was I was happy to finally remove one, even if it's just temporary. I was always trying to keep Griff protected, the leader protected, and the mighty blow protected as much as possible. So yeah, he's, he's playing it pretty safe, isn't he? He gets this guy in as a as a uh, as a scoring threat, one square in the end zone, into my half. I knew he was a scoring threat, um, and I knew that was a little sneaky play done. Well, in my opinion, it was a sneaky little play done. He gets the dirty player foul in, and here for me, I wanted him to KO. As stupid as that sounds, because I want to be able to hit his. Uh, He's moving 10 guy with my mighty blow tackler. And I, I get my wish. <laughs> and they are the first two moves in. Guard, guard in and tackle mighty blow. In. Get the knockdown. Only a stun. But still. Nice, nice, to, nice play at a stun, isn't it? And all this guys is, is looking pretty good like it they're, like they're, they're not a bad team against Skaven and, and their ilk Brett's because you know they've they've got enough guard and enough mighty go they can do stuff. I what I did wrong here was um basically the position of Griff because I've got Griff and the Sure Hands guy on, on my two recoveries if if I use Wizard. So by moving them both here I just can't wizard next turn. So if I'd had Griff over there, then at least, obviously he's going to move over this side now. And I can't wizard, because I don't have a recovery. So I should have kept it, so I had a recovery on, I think. I didn't sidestep there. And maybe it was a stupid non-sidestep, because he's got a guard and it gives him more blocks. But if I'd sidestepped to here, I thought I could get gang fouled again. And I didn't, I didn't want that. He can't move that far, can he? He's only moving seven. But yeah, if if Griff had been here, a wizard would have been made, been something to consider. Is he one in eighty ones for the second time in the match? Yeah. If, so yeah, if I, if I'd just had Griff on the on the on the sure hands, I could have easily blocked there, blitzed the ball. I mean, Griff, I wouldn't have even needed a wizard, would it, if this was Griff? He blocks, then Griff comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I really messed up by having these two over there instead of here. And then I thought I could have still gone for the ball, you know. It was easy to go for the ball here, but I thought if I go for the ball and get it, like if I don't recover the ball, he just he just runs around with his gutters and scores. So this was a normally I would have hit the ball here. Um But I just thought there's no point because he can score at any time. That's the key thing, isn't it? So I tried to get, uh, I tried to get Griff and uh, Barrage more central, but still they weren't central enough. 
get the foul on him. I really want him out because it's his one turner as well in case it goes to overtime and he, he wins the toss. KO there's pretty good. For this drive at least. So he's down to two gutters for the drive. Mighty blow hitting armor seven. Gets a cars. Mighty blow hitting armor seven. <laughs> Gets a cars. Wish that had happened to me more often, but there you go. Brutal, brutal turn there. Couple of cars. But yeah, that's the thing. I mean, if, if it had been 1-1, I would have probably gone for the ball that turn. But with it with being 1-0 down, knowing that if he gets it to 2-0, he's won. That's why, that's why I didn't go for the ball. And now he does the pass back. But, let's pause it. So I go for the bolt here. Was it a good decision? I think it was, he can be blocked, he can be blitzed. And then I've got pretty much everyone. It's at the it's at the limit of their movement, but they're in range. So I didn't hate it, especially as it was on a gutter runner instead of a thrower. I, w I didn't really want to use the wizard to hit a thrower, whereas using it to hit a gutter runner is great, isn't it? So I'm, I'm knocking one gutter over with the bolt and then the other gutter with a blitz. So I was pretty happy with that. Kazdama 7, unbelievable. Get the mighty blow tackle onto a gutter again. Yet again. <laughs> We're stunned. But now he's stunned, I could pick up with Griff. Potentially, but I think I do pick it up with the uh, sure hands now. No, I don't. Griff, Griff gets it. Oh yes, I remember. I remember the. I remember what happens now. <laughs> so yeah, Griff gets it. Just because he's got the extra movement, hasn't he? So that's pretty safe there. I was pretty happy with that steal. Um, yeah, it's pretty good turn, wasn't it? Well, I am getting heavily outbashed now. Wrestle, wrestle, making him want to re-roll that it was pretty good. I'm surprised he re-rolled that actually, because I mean, overtime's a possibility now with Griff having the ball. I think that was maybe a bit, a bit of a frivolous re-roll. Yeah, I guess it does get him, get more men into contact. Plows me, plows me, Blodger, with a rookie line rack. Brutal. So I mean, it's really, it's really not going great. My first action is a dirty player. This dirty, dirty player foul this turn. Um, bribe is used for no break. Brilliant. I wanted to foul there, didn't I? Relying on dauntless. Make the 2D. Two D that guy, make a hole for Griff. And then uh, Griff can run away. And GFI a few times, a sure feat. And I was pretty happy there, <laughs> although it's a potato. I had no no choice really either with with zero players basically, getting heavily outbashed. Uh, well, not actually that much outbashed. Really. Like he's he's lost a few, but um, the problem is the players that are left for him. 
on movement nine <laughs> and agility four. So it's, it's tough with less players, but I mean Griff's a great player, so thank God he was there. Another one gone. Guy is. I mean, this is the one who fouled, isn't it? And now he's escaped. Wow, failed to dodge into a cars. That was unlucky. And he apples it. Interesting. I've got to blitz. I've got to blitz this. Got to have that. Ah, but then he's got tackle. So, yeah, it's, do I blitz the guy with tackle or do I blitz the guy with uh, the super annoying with the shadowing and fend and stuff? I hit the cutter. Go me. Go me making the right decision there. Of course, do nothing to him. As, as was pretty standard for this match. So here... I run back with Griff now. <laughs> Into a cage, which is a pretty nifty little move, I thought, because obviously if I score and give him two turns to score, he'll score, because he's scaling. Another foul. Sent off. Because obviously the strip is a threat against Griff, so... I, I kind of had forced him to make that foul. So I'd lose another player. Seven players off the pitch now. He's got three, six, seven, and I've got six. <laughs> what a difference. I blitz his, his armor seven with mighty blow tackle do nothing. And then he gets a stun on my one. Pretty brutal. I shouldn't reroll this, I don't think. He does. Goes down to one. I guess he's trying to just stop me scoring, isn't he? But Griff is based by this annoying, shadowing gutter. Um, so open up with a one dice, then another one dice. <laughs> Because I just wanted to see what could happen, you know, getting, making, trying to make things happen with these moves. So now it's a blitz from Griff. So the idea is that I dodge, try to avoid shadowing, dodge, try to avoid shadowing, then hit this guy with tackle, and then keep running. Um, so I dodge, don't escape, need 10 plus. So one in six to escape shadowing, one in six to fail the dodge. So it's pretty even. Um, so I'm keep I'm keep dodging, keep failing to escape shadowing. <laughs> but now dodges you've been used and still haven't escaped. So now I use my blitz to punch him to try and stop him. Don't achieve anything. Keep dodging. <laughs> keep failing to escape shadowing. Fail the dodge. Use the leader and uh, not use leader. Use the loner. Make the loner reroll. Dodge again. Still not failing shadowing. Oh, still not passing shadowing. Still can't get away from the shadowing. Because I've got to get into scoring range and then finally got away from the, sh the, from the shadowing and into scoring range. So yeah, that was a pretty annoying little gut runner. But, um, you know, it, it was only the fact that he'd stunned my, my tackle guy, otherwise I would have just blitzed him and it would have been no problem. Well, wow. might have just pushed him again. Could argue I could have dodged this guy out um, with dodge. Maybe he'd done something. So he gets the he makes he makes the two three pluses, gets two dice with tackle, and then double skulls it, uses his last reroll and only a push. So I mean I was obviously incredibly lucky to survive the four dice, but he was lucky to make the two dodges first, to be fair. Um, yeah, so now 
There's not much I can do. I think I've got to blitz the tackle guy and then dodge away from the gutter. Again. Make some blocks first, just in case, because obviously I'm banking on it going over time, so I'm trying to do some damage in case it's in case Griff works. So we get the power on him. And now we have the old shadowing chase again. So I, I unfortunately fail the dodge in the first roll, which is the same odds as escaping shadowing, and then fail in the second roll as well, so after his dodge is used up. Unbelievably make the lawn re-roll again. Don't escape shadowing. <laughs> Make the dodge. Don't escape shadowing. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> and then shadowing failed, and Griff got in. So, 1 1. Unbelievably, despite getting absolutely beaten up by these Skaven, and the crazy, the crazy Griff plays, make it 1 1. Um, four of my guys are cast. Two come back. Three of his are cast. Both come back. So now, the biggest part of the game, which is the overtime toss, which I won to give me a chance. So I mean, that was a 50 50. I lost straight away there as well. So we've got three, six, nine. He's still got 11 players. And I'm down to three, six, eight. <laughs> so. Yeah, quite heavily outbashed there. Three players down on offense to uh, Skaven is pretty, pretty not a very safe place to be in, is it? So I think I go all in to try and score the two-turn touchdown that I should have scored on in the first half. The difference being, of course, that I have three more players in the first half, so I could have protected it a lot more in the first half. But at least this time I'm trying to score in two, unlike in the first half. And he's got no reroll, so it'd be easy for him to fail stuff. So while I'm not confident, I've certainly got a chance. But just no players. And then both teams get a reroll, so you can imagine I was sick as a dog there. Maybe I should have given the ball to Griff straight up. And then I could have gone, now that I think about it, if I'd given the ball to Griff, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G, I could have double GFI to hit the, to hit the stripper. And maybe I could have just, maybe I should have given it just straight to Griff there. That might have been an idea. But instead, I, I mean, I was scared of the strip here, as well as him just blunting my attack. So... So it was tricky, it was tr it was a tricky turn. Maybe I should have just blocked with this guy and then that would have been another guy free. So then I do block with him to get another guy free, but it could have been closer, couldn't it? Still haven't moved Griff. Bit unlucky getting a push so we can block him. Yeah, make a screen there. Now, now Griff here. See, this was a tough. This was a tough move. Eventually, I put Griff at the limit of his how far he can move, so he can he can GFI three times to score here. I thought I wanted to put him like here or something, or here, but I thought if I do, it's too easy for him to get through with a stripper, or whatever, gutters and hit me. But I shouldn't have cared about that. I should have got him further forward, because then when it comes to scoring, could have gone back. So I think I really should have put him three forward here, but we'll see anyway. So I put him there to screen off the ball, because I thought he could blitz here and he could just base the ball and everything, couldn't he? I don't know.
gets the gets the knockdown. Clawbin paying the price for not playing more games to get dodge. I mean, Chris Hunter does a good job here of, of making things very difficult to score this turn. Maybe I could have tried to not score this turn and reposition a bit, but it was it was definitely difficult. So what, what I did here was I went on Samba, Samba Action Calculator, which is a great tool that lets you work out the odds of things. And I worked out the best, you know, because I thought about dodging him, you know, blitzing him and dodging him or, or handing off to him and then dodging through or, you know, whatever. I worked out the best odds were moving this guy into assist and blitzing with a wrestler. Splitting this guy, and then the first thing I did was move the wrestler in. It was unbelievable. It was absolutely ridiculous. The first thing. So there'd have been an over fifty percent chance to score with Griff if I'd blitz with the wrestler, but I didn't blitz with the wrestler, which was just unbelievable. Um, so I was willing to change tack if I didn't power this guy, but I did power him. He actually sidesteps the wrong square here. He should have. He should have sidestepped here. If he sidesteps here, oh, does he? No, it doesn't matter, does it? Because I just go in there. No, so it doesn't matter where he sidesteps to. Um, so, you know, I've got the handoff and then some 3 plus dodges. So I, I did get lucky to get the POW because I should have blitzed with Wrestle. But um, unfortunately, failed the dodge. Failed with one of the 3 plus dodges. But it, it, it was quite high at odds to score after I'd got the POW. And obviously with failing that, it was all over. Down. Down players against Skaven. You know, I was... I think I would have... On another day... If I tried to score in two turns, maybe I could have done the first half. Maybe I could have appled one of the KOs in, in the second half. Thinking about overtime. I probably should have done. I didn't ended up not using my apple. Even though they, even though they came back on three pluses, maybe I should have used it still. Maybe he's actually used it on one of these cases just for numbers. Hard to say, isn't it? He did make another loan a reroll, but unfortunately it was not to be. And he makes the handoff and he's off. And Crystal Hunter's won, so fair play to him. But um Yeah, I thought it was close. I was happy with how close it was. Considering I was down like three hundred and 50 TV anyway um, and then he had a wizard on top of that <laughs> um, I was quite happy with how it went really just frustrated that I didn't try the two turn I mean even if I'd failed the two turn at least I should have tried it shouldn't I and if he, he could I could have failed or he could have scored a one turner but I, that was really very poor play to not even try for the two turn um, and then a bit unlucky not to win in the end but at the end of the day, I was lucky to win the toss. I was lucky to get to overtime, really. So they did. They did well. The births just not well enough. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.